good morning so today's class is on fruits so as you can see on the screen uh, we are discussing the uh, about fruit and uh, various types of fruits so as an introduction i am giving um, three points you have to remember first uh, fruit is a seed bearing structure it's usually edible it's tasty uh, and it's usually healthy too and there are many uh, different types of fruits in nature so uh, let's classify them so if you take a uh, fruit, we can mainly classify it into four groups. Uh, symbol, aggregate, multiple and false types. So first one, we'll go for simple fruits. So uh, let's see the three main points. Uh, the plants and the simple, uh, simple fruits are formed uh, in three uh, main points. One, one fruit from one flower, one ovule and one ovary. These are the main things you have to remember. Next, this is an example of simple fruit. Now let's uh, talk about aggregate fruits. So there are also two points that you have to remember. Uh, these types of uh, aggregate fruits are formed from plants, which form more than one fruit from one flower. So you can see uh, in simple fruit, it's only one fru flower and one fruit. Here, more than one fruit is formed. And it has more than one ovule. Obviously, it has more than one ovule. So you have seen this. Uh, so this is an example. Next, we'll deal with multiple fruits. So uh, what type of plants are these? They have inflorescence flowers and they have multiple seeds and usually they have a common covering covering the entire fruits. I mean, uh, in having inflorescence flowers means uh, small, small uh, flowers in a bunch and from that we have, we are getting, uh, can say that we are getting multiple fruits and these all fruits are in a single covering. Okay, that's how multiple fruit works. This is an example. So you can see uh, we have an a big covering of the jackfruit inside we can see small small fleshy items not see but we know that there are small small fleshy items that we eat and uh, we spit out the or we take out the seeds of so there are multiple seeds and multiple fruits inside the entire covering so this is a video that you have to see oh there we go sorry here we go this is a video about the uh, uh, multiple fruits and everything that is going to be presented there. Observe the video. And based on this, yeah. I'm going to Today we want to go over fruits in flowering plants and the different classifications that we can find when we think about fruits in flowering plants. And we're going to begin so then there are talking about three simple classifications, fruits. the same thing. Simple fruits are formed from one ovary and they come so in right now various I'm going to skip forms. This, so, so you can learn uh, it ovary, later. I'm gonna give Within this uh, link to you. Of simple fruit. So based on this, uh, let me ask you questions. Uh, among the following, which is a simple fruit? Apple, Oleatia, uh, pineapple, and uh, pear. Just remember the answer. Aggregate fruit can have more than one fruit. Based on it, what is the right option? Is it true, is it false, is it half correct? None of the above. Among the following, which is a multiple fruit? Cashew apple? Jackfruit, custard apple, pear. What's your answer? Just write it down. Option four, multiple fruit can have a common covering. What is your opinion? Is it true? Is it false? Half correct? Uh, none of the above. So the final question, among the following, which type of fruit uh, have inflorescence? So we talked about inflorescence, which of this uh, fruit exhibit inflorescence? Simple fruit, multiple fruit, false fruit, aggregate fruit. Are your answers done? Okay, put your answer. Now, let's see the answers. First, apple is a false fruit. Palatia is an aggregate fruit example. Pineapple is a multiple fruit. Mango, it is a simple fruit. It is the correct option. So, in the second section, we have uh, aggregate fruits uh, form multiple fruits from a single flower. So, option A is true. It's the correct answer. The other answers are totally wrong. In third, uh, we have cashew apple uh, is a false fruit. Jackfruit is a multiple fruit and it is gargans because it has a common covering. Then we have uh, custard apple which is an aggregate fruit and pear which is a false fruit. Now multiple choice answers. Multiple fruits have a common covering uh, over the oval uh, from an inflorescent flower, uh, flower system. So option A, uh, true is the correct answer. The other options are wrong. Uh, fifth question's answer, the inflorescence is only seen in multiple fruits. So option B, multiple fruit is the correct answer. I have already said simple fruit uh, they have single flower uh, in uh, aggregate fruit they have one flower but uh, different uh, ovules 
uh, in the third option we have inflorescence system so that uh, inflorescence is seen in multiple fruits next is the last one is uh, false fruits so here the fruits are formed uh, from plant parts which are not usually the ovary in most cases it is the ovary which forms the fruit here it is a, a pedicel thalamus like the situations so it's an example which is the apple uh, you may or may not uh, be recognize it from the picture so based on this uh, let's classify these following so we have simple fruit multiple fruit false fruit and aggregate fruit based on this write on your answer so let me conclude there are four types of fruits simple aggregate multiple and false fruit ovule uh, which has uh, and inflorescence the number of fruits these all things that you have to look uh, and uh, remember when you are studying these uh, types of fruits so if you want more reference you can um, refer six standard section of text of SCRT the complete book of fruits and vegetables by uh, Marilena Pistria and Wikipedia too thank you that's the end of the class